Good morning, guys. <laughs> it's been a busy morning for me, that is for sure. Um, I got into work today, and it has been crazy busy all day. So, uh, yeah, what time is it? Jeez. Well, it's not quite morning. <laughs> um, it's not quite morning, so I, I guess I slightly lied to you. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it is, man, it's in the afternoon already. But yeah, starting this uh, video a little late because got in the shop and it was just slamming, busy. Um, all right, so I'm continuing working on a little bit of uh, my hand loading with the little press here for my 40 caliber stuff. And so what I do to adjust it, I take a factory round and uh, put it in there, seat it, and I adjust the uh, depth gauge to that particular factory round. And then that way when you put it in there, you're at the factory um, overall length. That's the way I do it. It's the way I was taught to do it. And it seems to work because it makes sense. So I'm loading up some of this 40 and uh, hopefully get ready for some range videos. There I go mentioning that again. <laughs> so yeah, um, I did actually get to set and pour um, a set of my grips with the uh, new design, I, I want to see how that turned out. I poured them this morning right before I left to work, so leave them all day to cure. Hopefully, I can get them uh, if they if they cure enough to where I can sand them and they don't uh, gum up on me. That's the problem with that with those. So, yeah, just kind of going through these and just kind of getting some ready to possibly get to the range. So we want to get to the range, the meaning to get to the range, but uh, don't know this weekend. I don't know how busy it might be. Um, of course, this is just Saturday. It's already half over for most of us, um, but it's my short day at work today on Saturday. JW's radio is up. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully get some decent amount of traffic to those to keep them rolling. Uh, as long as we're getting views to it, we'll continue to do it. Um, but uh, like anything, if there's uh, really if there's no traffic to it, then there's not much reason to do so. But uh, I was thinking about the Halloween videos, doing that. Um, even like last year, I did those uh, those uh, zombie heads, and ghosts or ghosts attack killer ghosts, all that. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. It was a lot of hard work. Um, unfortunately, did did not uh, get a lot of traffic to viewing them, so won't be really. Uh, I may not just. I may not want to reinvest into doing that again this year because of just time, energy, money, and really just uh, not many views to it anyway. So might just have to skip out on that. But uh, if everything goes well with what I'm trying to do for for this channel, I'm trying to do the uh, a, a little old uh, a black and white movie idea. Not really. Well, again, I'm not I'm no Steven Spielberg or something. But uh, just trying to put together something in a Halloween spirit for you folks. Um, it's going to be an exclusive special uh, vlog channel video. I, I want to do more and more of that, and I think. Uh, a lot of you that follow me here on this vlog channel, you'll appreciate that, that I'm actually wanting to do more and more exclusive content for this channel that uh, will not be seen on the, the regular channel. And definitely maybe do some range videos or things of that nature that may be just kind of exclusive to this channel. So being subscribed to this and watching this, you'll get to see some stuff like uh, Posted that video on shooting the stack of CDs with a 22 60 grain 22 LR bullet. That was interesting, but yeah, that specifically went to this channel. And because you're a subscriber, you got to see it. Hopefully, you saw it. So, and things like uh, 1911 cleaning. That was uh, that was kind of an exclusive video. So. Um, tomorrow's video for the main channel, uh, I do like to put up a video for Sunday. I want to put up a, uh, a video on the 
possibly the disassembly of the Colt Agent 6 shot 38 special. So tune in for that. So, all right. So I got all these uh, bullets seated. Just got to crimp them and uh, get them ready to go into the bag. Got that bag, got a sock full of them. And I got some nickel nickel casings here that I've uh, separated. I want to um, make those a different powder charge, test those out, see see uh, if I can go any lighter. Lighter on the powder charge um, to uh, minimize some of that recoil and uh, battering of the gun and hopefully uh, you know kind of reduce that a little bit so all right um, yeah it's almost hopefully business will pick up a little bit again here make this day go by a little bit faster <laughs> still got an hour and a half to go but getting out of here uh, after 3.30 it is uh, almost 100 degrees out it's uh, pretty high humidity that's for sure it always is that's what it's like living out here in an island <laughs> um, yeah I was gonna go to the store but mm, changed my mind just because I think I just need to just want to get home already don't need to spend don't need to spend money <laughs> Guys, just got home and working on um, the grips, and I just got the first prototype really just um, sanded up and finished. So, right here. And what I'm doing is uh, before I show you up close and really what, what I'm talking about, is uh, I what inspired this was the vintage Smith and Wesson uh, end frame Coke bottle grips where they had a swell to them, uh, and just how crazy rare and expensive those have become and really just because of uh, really just because they're rare so okay so here's the um, basic grip this is the ones that I usually make right here and here are the ones that these are again just a prototype so they're not quite uh, I haven't quite perfected it yet but it's just uh, figure to show you the prototype you can see the difference side to side so I'm just uh, my idea is just calling them a bottle grip because it's got that swell to it so yeah um, not really sure what I think of that so far it may not be something that I would uh, I mean, I think I would just, I would have them in an inventory. Sorry, I'm just trying to do this on camera. It's not quite easy. Um, just, I guess, having them on inventory, but uh, it's it's definitely, it's so different. That's why I think it, and it looks kind of weird at first if you just kind of look at it. 
So. It's a lot thicker, takes up uh, just a little bit more resin. Um, how do they feel in a hand? I guess that's the main thing. It actually kind of feels nice, not too bad. <laughs> it gives you more, uh, definitely something in, you know, as it, uh, the palms swell, it does give you something in there to, to hold on to. Kind of fits fits in there pretty nice, I must say. So, hmm. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'll do a, a little uh, video on these things. I have to get them all together now and do a video. But yeah, these are just the prototype. The, the uh, basic uh, aged yellow type ivory. Here's the front view. I guess the bottom doesn't really show much. Hmm. So, yeah, so basically it's got a much more of a raised center on both of them. Actually, see it up front. The front. This always looks funny to me, looking at it from kind of that that point of view. Kind of looks weird. <laughs> I'm gonna move these two up because um, I think they belong in this category with all the vintage. See, because then you got the Stan, Misery, Skeleton Brew, Christine. You got uh, these ones here. I know I got to reorganize. I wanted to put them in order uh, when they got released. Some other ones up there, but uh, yeah. This is an interesting one. I bet not many people seen this one. This is actually illustrated. I see. Yeah, you can see. It's kind of an interesting one. A set of got grips everywhere. This is kind of a grip vlog. <laughs> yep. Just read my very first one and. Sixth grade. That's the one. Not this exact book, but this, this, uh, this cover. That's why I bought this. Even though I have um, the Shining on hardcover, yeah, this one, and it's different. Kind of a different one. My favorite. Uh, Quote is in Doctor Sleep. Oh, let's see if I can. <laughs> and that's uh, in Doctor Sleep. That's gonna uh, gonna be the end of Saturday. Wow, Saturday. <laughs> Uh, was a really, really busy uh, morning at work. It was just like kind of like this constant, uh, I guess, busyness. Not necessarily in sales, but a lot of people coming in. So, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna close it out today and uh, pick it up again tomorrow. So, uh, I did show the a quick little uh, clip there of those grips that I had. Um, I was talking about those in a vlog or two ago, so if you remember that, um, yeah, I kind of like it. I don't know. Um, I, I'm actually curious. I'd like to get those fitted out to the gun to see how that feels on the gun and how it looks. So maybe I'll get that uh, get that going. Um, I actually had to uh, repair the mold after removing those. The mold uh, took some damage, so 
I'm currently in the process of trying to repair it uh, before I can make some new ones out of there. Um, I do want to tinker around with that a little bit, uh, but uh, yeah, I think uh, tomorrow I need to make another mold, uh, just a standard mold, and, and, and let that cure and set up properly, uh, let it take its time to do so. Uh, that's the thing, you know, it's a battle. Uh, it all breaks down. Uh, you can only, some of the molds I, I've used for a long time and I love them. Uh, every every pair of grips it makes, it gets more and more wear and tear and so it gets to the point where I gotta replace it. So, anyway, um, I know I've actually been slacking on this. So I'll, uh, and oh yeah, by the way, there is a video. It's uploaded already, so check it out. Um, JW's custom age ivory grips. I did a little video on it's about a six minute video on a pretty much like a vast array of like all the different colors I've been messing around with. So it is hard to duplicate colors sometimes. So I kind of just stick with the a one formula. So anyway, um, I did mention this in vlog number 100. If you guys remember that vlog number 100, and it was pertaining to um, this. Uh, I know and I, I I'm gonna apologize in advance it is not I it I I really I, I did my best to put this together for you folks I'm I'm not the greatest arts and craft guy so you have to forgive me on that a little bit it's it's not but what it is is I, I figured this this giveaway would be a little unique I wanted to change it up a little bit and I wanted to make something more I guess this is a, in a sense personal. I'm not saying that other giveaways are bad or anything, but uh, I always felt that um, I didn't want to give give something away that is just something like yeah, yeah, I could go to Walmart and buy that, something like that. But uh, anyway, this is basically full of all kinds of weird snippets and clippets, receipts, if you would, um, weird little cutouts of things around here. It could be receipts. Uh, here's the movie ticket from the movie 31 that I went to go see. That was in the vlog. Um, I went to go see that. So I put that in there. That's the one that the, from the night I went to go see it on vlog. Here's some uh, cutouts of houses and how much they cost out here. Um, here's some things from the banks. And uh, some more clippets. Huggos is actually a really cool restaurant. It's called Huggos on the Rocks. I believe and it's actually right by the ocean uh, Kona brew is a, a beer that was, uh, I think you can get it over over there it's all over the place but they actually serve food in there more cutouts a uh, little ad for Johnny fix it the handyman um, oceanic time Warner cable that's what we got out here I don't know if that's everywhere but a little receipt from Panda Express um, hey look I'm uh, a massage studio for us guys. Uh, I think it's yeah, Mara. Hmm. <laughs> a little word search for you. Uh, some uh, Target is one of my favorite places to shop, so I included some of that. Here's a you know, some tasty targets I made. A, a receipt for some wild turkey that appeared in the blog. Um, a lot of McDonald's receipts, to, so you can see what McDonald's cost out here. It was my excuse to go there a lot. That's kind of my weakness. I'm a McDonald's junkie, so there's probably too many damn McDonald's receipts in there. But uh, it shows you kind of how much they cost. Um, receipts from Targets. Now, some uh, Target, uh, some of these places, uh, some of these things I left so they can fold out so you can check it out. Um, yeah, what is, you know, some of this stuff I don't remember what I bought. Um, and, uh, yeah. So here's um, some of the other things I wanted to include. Here's the actual menu from Kona Brew. So I left this, I taped this in. I, I'm sorry again, you know. I kind of just kind of threw this thing together. I tried my best, I really did, honestly. Um, I, I put some tape in there, I taped it in. So you can actually, if you want to, cut it out if you want to. But here's the entire menu of Kona Brew. This is from their restaurant. I went over there and got it. So you can check it out. Uh, all the food they got, the beer they got, so not just beer. So I kind of made little notes for you all. Uh, my horrible penmanship. Here's a really cool place called the Lee Buzz Cafe. The, I got food from there quite a few times. They they do deliver, so it's kind of a healthy place. 
So it's got two sides, so I left that in, taped that in. Here's the uh, firearms registration uh, ad thing that they give you when you register your guns over here. Here's all the different locations, store out, or the uh, times for the police department. And, uh, yeah. So you can get kind of get the idea. Little clippets from the local grocery stores. Little, yeah, spam is real big out here. Here is this thing called the Coconut Wireless Weekly thing. Okay, it's a whole fold out thing. You can check it out. So I just kind of folded it up the best I could and taped it in there. It's got little weird things in there. Um, this is kind of this big thing out here. I don't know. It's it's around. You can find it. Um, so and some more again. More of these are just clippets from the uh, the market and everything. All right and. Uh, Here's a place, now this is actually right next door to where I work. This is a little, uh, it's called the Chinese Barbecue. It's a place that is literally right next to where I work. Um, here's their menu. It's kind of interesting because they serve so much weird, different, like you're like, wow, it's not what you expect. But, you know, so it's kind of strange. So here's uh, some little cards that I collected. Um, the All Tool Place, if you saw that on the blog, uh, went there. Uh, with my friend so I grabbed the business card threw it in there figured uh, cool things to include from the vlog in here here's my friend's shop uh, Kona guns and ammo my friend Wes and um, it's double-sided so I left those so you can flip it over and check it out it's like a little map to his shop same with this I think it's got some numbers information uh, this is just a little uh, certificate from the Peace Garden really cool place if you're ever out in Hawaii check this place out it's really awesome truly is peaceful but anyway um, that's what I put together here for you folks um, again I apologize it's uh, I even had to remove some pages okay and I, I didn't fill up the entire book um, I had to remove some pages so I apologize it's a little tacky um, but I I just wanted to make a, a different kind of a gift for you. The reason I removed pages was to cut down the weight. As I found out with the coffee mug, mailing out the coffee mug, it was slightly over a certain amount of, I think it can only be like 13 ounces. And uh, if it's under 13 ounces or 13 ounces and under, I'm able to basically get it out to you first class mail. If not, it's like $12. It's like, really? Like, <laughs> so. That's the reason I removed some of the blank pages was to cut down on the weight and hopefully it uh, doesn't doesn't cost me twelve dollars to ship this thing. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure it out. Um, the other thing I want to include here, uh, just as a thank you for everybody that watches these vlogs. Yes, I will uh, be going through and um, looking for things that I can fit just in an envelope and put some stamps on it and mail it out to you folks. Um, might be some cool stuff that I can find that will fit in there. And so that will make the giveaways a little bit better. And the giveaways will be totally random here on this channel. Um, it's just basically I want to thank you and give back to you folks because you give a lot to me. Uh, you're here, you're subscribed, you're watching this stuff, and you're watching the videos and supporting. It means a lot, really cool. So I will continue to do that. Uh, still working on the Halloween stuff. so. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, check out the uh, grip video, and of course uh, you saw some a little bit on uh, this, this vlog, so it's kind of a grip vlog, I guess. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday, my first day off, so it's kind of like my Saturday. How about that? Anyway, tomorrow's video on the main channel, if you're still here at the end of this vlog, um, it's going to be kind of cool. We got a special edition 1911, one of a thousand, to show you tomorrow on Batjack JW. So tune in, keep uh, keep an eye on that Batjack JW channel. That's the main channel because I got a special edition 1911. I think you're going to like it.